Hi guys, it's Danny. I'm back with another process video for you guys. I'm showing you products like I always do. I mix a lot of lines. Um, I mix in Maggie Holmes Shine Collection. I use that brand new Inspire Kit from um, from Becky Higgins Project Life. Um, I use a little bit of Amy Tan, Pink Fresh Studios, and what else do I use? Um, and I said Amy Tan and Maggie Holmes. So yeah, I just mix several different lines together. And let's see. Oh, and those are from Dear Lizzie, and I don't end up using those. I wanted to, but it just didn't work. And this is the Inspire Kit. It's really, really pretty. I'm in love with it. I got it with, uh, I got it at Michael's a little while back, and, um, I think I used one or two and I just really wanted to bust out and try and do like a whole a layout using several different, you know, embellishments and cards. Um this is the Rise and Shine collection. No. Finders Keepers. Sorry about that. Finders Keepers. And I thought I wanted to use these two pieces of paper and then I just felt like the orange was just too loud and I'm staring at it and I'm going to mull it over and I'm going to be hard headed and then I'm finally going to pull out some of the dreamy collection from Heidi Swap and you'll see that in a minute and I like it a lot better. I still use that background with the hearts on it from Finders Keepers from Amy Tan's new collection. There it is. That's the dreamy and I like that much better, just softer and just the whole feeling of what I was going for. Um, these pictures I'm going to scrapbook today are of a trip that we took to Knott's Berry Farm, uh, me and the boys and my mom, um, a little while back. And so I wanted to get them scrapped. And really, like my title I got from my son, my oldest son had posted a picture of him and his grandma on a roller coaster like holding hands and he titled it let me tell you about my best friend I thought that was so cute because like when I grew up I watched that I mean I don't know if a lot of you guys might be too young to remember but there was a song and it used to say let me tell you about my best friend and it was from when I was a kid and I don't even know how my son came up with that title or if he had heard it somewhere before but yeah he always comes up with really catchy uh, things to put on his Instagram. Anyway, I just really loved it, and I knew I wanted to scrapbook it, plus a few others from that day. And I did edge my... I did edge the um, paper with that soft granite, and um, I purposely offset it to where one side would have a bigger border than the other. And there's the pictures. And I know I was going to cut that one down and then I already trimmed the other ones. And that's just me and my me and my youngest son and my mom and we're all like walking and like I don't know we had our arms around each other. It was just so cute. My son like caught the moment. So I totally love that. And yes, I completely steal photos from his Instagram because sometimes he gets better picture well, a lot of time he gets better pictures than I do. He's just really good at taking photos, and I just love how he got that. Like, how cute was that? I was just in the moment and didn't even realize, and I was super excited when I saw it on his Instagram. <laughs> and then the other couple pictures were from me and, like, pictures I took. So here I am, and I'm playing with the embellish. Well, I keep seeing embellishments, but they're kind of like die cuts that come in that, um, that come in the kit. The Project Life kit. Again, I think I, uh, it's called the Inspire kit. And I am just playing with different things that I want to try and use. And, oh, and then I just decided to put a tiny bit of the orange. Just to help them pop a little bit more off the page. And I really like how that looks. And what else? Oh, I didn't get it lined up very good, so I had to mess with it again. But, yeah, it will come together. You guys, can you believe it's November? I cannot believe it's November. 
OMG. I am getting all my stuff ready. I just actually put a video up today um, sharing the stuff I'm going to use for my December daily. I just can't believe how fast this year has flown by. Okay, so back to the layout. I'm actually just popping some of these up. It just says create your own adventure. And I thought that was suiting since we were, I don't know, on an adventure in a sense, right? Um, at, at Knott's Berry Farms. So I wanted to pop that up. And then I'm going to move this I'm in love with today. I'm going to decide against it so that doesn't stay. But the Explorer stays. The card that has the lines on it, that's where I'm going to do my journaling. I think I'm going to go ahead and commit and start to glue things down. Oh, and then I just decided I should do the edges again with that soft granite. And what else am I doing? Still playing with placement. This day was so fun. I love Knott's Berry Farm. And it was so quiet that day. Like, I mean, it just, I don't know. It just, it wasn't busy at all. We got on all the rides, like, several times. Like, at least, like, three times each. And, uh, yeah, and, like, our favorite one, we probably went on, like, four or five times. And that was our, and the picture of my son and my mom actually was on our favorite. Um, so I just thought that was really cool. And then, let's see, I am edging the bottom one here, and that's where I'm going to do my journaling. And trying to get it to lay down the way I like it. And another pop dot on that and then I just decided I wanted to pop this up as well and ink the edges. I really love how this layout turned out. It's just super, um, I don't know, it's just the background I think, think like changing it to that blue color really made a difference. It really made everything um, pop. Like all the scripty black font that's in this Inspire kit and this one up here that I'm going to put at the top, I'm going to do another cluster at the top. It says, take a leap of faith. And again, I just, I just thought it was suiting because, you know, getting on roller coasters and things like that is pretty much taking a leap of faith. You've got to have some guts to get on those, uh, you know, roller coasters. And our family loves roller coasters, but I know a lot of people are, you know, they won't get on them or they're afraid, you know, they're just really afraid to get on them. So I just thought that would be a good one too, to add up there. Here's a flare button. I pulled some flares out from, um, from an old Felicity Jane kit that I, I didn't use or hadn't used and I love them and they just went really perfect with the soft light colors in this kit. And it's like one up here that I'm about to do Oh, I decided to do some thread, um, totally inspired by Missy Whitten. She always does the thread, and I think it looks really cool. So I thought that would be cool underneath the flare up here. And it just has tiny little, uh, it's like a soft gray with like white little hearts, and then one is like a, a pink, like one of the hearts is pink. And I just thought it went perfect with that background paper from the Amy Tan. And then the top one up here says life is good. And I'm going to back it on another chipboard sticker from this Dear Lizzie pack. Just because I wanted like the little circular element in the black and I didn't think I'd use the okay. So, but it has a black line around it and it just really makes it, I don't know, I love it. I just think it's really cute. I'm glad I thought to do that. Just like these little touches that I think add so much to a page. So I do that. I'm just trying to get it to dry enough to let go of it because with the glossy accents, you kind of have to hold it down for a little bit. <laughs> I'm still checking it. Um, let's see. Oh, and then I had, oh, I had used these Amy Tan stamps. And um, I think that was from her plus one. Not positive, but I think so. And I used that stamp, and then I did really small with little words, uh, the little word stickers, or letter stickers, I'm sorry, from Teresa Collins in the turquoise, and it just says, let me tell you about, and then I'm going to write in my best, and then I'm going to use some thickers to put friend. You'll see that. So, 
This is a wood veneer I've had for a while, and I backed it with orange, and then I put glossy accents over the orange part. So it's really pretty in person. I really like it. And um, I had made it a while ago and just didn't, didn't end up using it on a page. So I thought it would be perfect for this page, and it was the right color and everything. So I really like that. Now I'm getting out my watercolors because I knew I wanted to add a little bit of watercolor to that stamp that I did. Um, it's a label and I wanted to bring in a little bit of a little bit of yellow. See, you'll see that. And I just do a kind of sloppy around the letters to just give it a little bit of yellow to it. And I leave a little bit of like white on there. Like I've been seeing a lot of that like on Pinterest and videos like purposely leaving like white spots when you're doing it and I really love how it turned out and then the letters really pop I hope I show it to you but I'm sure I will at the end you'll see it I'll bring it up oh I must have I must have had to come back for some reason sorry about that oh because I think I needed to let it dry now I have a button again this button was from a Felicity Jane kit I thought it was just a nice touch up there and it's a dark gray and then I'm going to trim I wanted to hang down a little bit but I just trim it just to give it a little bit more texture again I added another little heart up there in that cluster and um, I just left it wood veneer to bring in another wood wood element to the top cluster and now I'm looking at that dear Lizzie um, chipboard I'm going to do a little a little bit more layering here it just says hello wonderful and then I think I'm going to add my photo eventually what am I doing here I think I'm pop dotting oh I had found another chipboard piece and it's a cute little heart it was the right kind of color it's like an orangey yellow and it's so cute I just really oh I love how this yeah just love I don't know I just like all the little, it almost looks watercolored and imperfect, like the little tag that I just did that I haven't glued down yet, but I will. And I just love that whole look because it looks like, like purposely outside the lines, if that makes sense. And it has like a black little line. And yeah, I just really love it. I'm about to put down my label and I'm going to mess with this for a minute. Oh, maybe not that long. I think I have to move it again though. And then I decided to put one more flare down and this one says smile. I'm going to put some more black thread behind it. Just a small little bit. I'm not going to put as much as the top one, but I really love it. Love, love. Thank you, Missy. <laughs> it's like such a cute little easy way to add interest to your page. And you know, it's not, a, she makes it look easy. I mess with it for a little bit, but I finally get it. And I had to pop it up a little bit because the chipboard, the two pieces of chipboard behind it. So I had to add a little and the uh, pop dot. Sorry about that. And then just to make sure that they're not going to move, I add a little bit more glossy accents. This is some black and white washi. I decide I want to add little pops of black and white. It's not really black and white. It, it's it's kind of like black and clear, if that makes sense. But it looks black and white when you put it on. And I add it into a couple different areas. And I'm not positive if I show it on film. I hope so. But you'll see it in the still photos. I add it to the top cluster, and I add it right next to where I journal um, a little tiny bit more, just so that there's in all three clusters. So there's touches of it in all three clusters, if that makes sense. I like adding things to each embellishment if I can, like the same at least pop of color or if it's a heart motif or maybe, you know, something similar. It may not be exact, but something similar in each cluster is what I try to do. And that's something I learned from watching. I don't know if I learned it, to be honest. I think I've been doing that for a really long time and just didn't even realize I was doing it. And then I watched Shamil... And then she would like point out how she did that. And I would look and I'd be like, oh yeah, I do that. So I think I just did it in my mind and didn't even realize I was. But definitely now that, you know, I watch enough of her videos, I always try to make sure that I bring in that balance, if that makes sense. 
because it just is pleasing to the eye. Um, and then I decided to write in my best, and then I'm going to use this those black thickers to spell the word friend. And I didn't like the loop at the end, but I will fix that. I'll put a little heart over it. Nope, see, I'm already trying to cover that little loop at the end because it almost looks like an E. I was trying to make it look kind of, I don't know, fancy or, I don't know, but I just didn't like it because it almost looked like a, a bus with an E on the end. So I just covered it. And I think I'm going to use one of those little, not that, but I'm going to use the heart. Yeah, the wood heart from the Pink Fresh Studios to cover that up. And then I'm going to put the word friend. And yes, I'm so, so happy again for my son because I completely got the title and the whole thought of the layout from him, from looking at his Instagram and the things that he uses for hashtags. Just love it. That little one um, from Pink Fresh Studio is another wood embellishment. So then now I have at least one in each cluster, one or two, like soft wood embellishments and it says happy and now I'm going to put the word friend and I'm just messing those are from Amy Tans and I'm pretty sure that was plus one yeah I think the stamp that I used for the label and these thickers are from plus one the Cal Barteski um, thickers I love these. They're so pretty. I love that script font. And I, I just, when I saw this Inspire, I knew I should use these thickers with it because that script font, just it just goes so perfect with it. And I'm showing you, but I'm not done. There's, I'm going to do a little bit more, so just stay tuned. <laughs> Here I'm back. I just decided to go ahead and do my journaling. And then um, now you can see where I added the pops of black. Uh, the washi to the top cluster and right next to my journaling I just did some little tears of that black black and white washi again that's inspired by Missy I love how she tears um, her you know tears the tape I just think that I like it a lot better because I wasn't using my tape as much as I liked and so I just wrote, now that they are grown, the time we have together is priceless. I just love Anthony's Instagram post about him and his grandma. Love them so much. And then it says Explorer. And then I wrote Knots 2015. And yeah, so that is my journaling. And I thought I would share that. And I decided to add a couple of these puffy stickers from Amy Tan's new collection. A couple hearts and arrow and now I'm done so oh and I added the picture because I was like wait I forgot to add the picture so I really love how this turned out I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did can you give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please do and I'll see you real soon thanks so much guys have a great day